This video series has been filmed at Parker Hannafin Manufacturing in Barnstable in the UK. This is a manufacturing site certified to IETF16949. The scope includes the design and manufacture of valves, manifolds, connectors, regulators and supporting ancillary equipment in corrosion resistant materials for automotive and non-automotive applications. This series simulates several scenarios in an IETF16949 audit. Watch this video and see if the auditor is undertaking an effective audit. So I'm Paul, I'm undertaking the IETF audit here today right. and I believe this is a Cell U Machine automotive product. Yes, so this is a, this is a robot um, and basically what it does, it takes place of a human Right. You've still got to set that manually by yourself. So yeah, Please. maybe show me how right. we select the parts yeah. first. Yeah. So if I show you this first. Though. Right. Yeah. Um, so this is a Kanban board. So there, as you can see, M8, M8, M12. M8, M8. Okay. You've got four boxes of red. So that's your next job. Right. That's okay. the next job. And that is a 5, 2 or 3 job which is what we're running now, 5203 job. So 5203-316-VFO, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we're on, uh, the, the job we're running now is a 16168, and it's 5203 forging. 5203 five, five, forging, yeah. And it's imperative that they've all got the same HCT number. X five four seven. So I saw this there. It's actually a unique traceability. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. So can you show us how you set them up on the yeah of the course in conveyor? Fact, I need another four loading onto there. So just take take four parts. The four parts is two for yeah. that mean two for that machine. Load it the P up oh, P yeah. It's a bit of a space, it's not an exact science, but just a bit of a space in between. And that's Good. it, and that's loaded. Okay, and then once and now, a machine, can you yeah. take me through the process of checking the machine okay. product? There's four already now on the uh, right. the belt underneath. So is that a fully machined part now? That's yes. finished? Yeah, yeah. So take me through then and the checking that right, you do. Right, the checking of them, so you've got four, like at the top, so the two at that side is the machine at that side. So them two are from machine 342. Just put them there. So you know if there's anything wrong with them. Which side machine. they've been machined. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Same with that side. That's from machine 115. 115. Okay. So, and then I've got the control plan then. So mm -hmm. can you take me through the checks that you would normally yeah. do? Yeah. So the first check I do when they come off is a thread gauge check. Right. Basically, go, no go. go. So let's go, no go, yeah. No go. And can I just take the gauge number of yes, that? Yes, of course. The GAC number for that is... Um, Here we go, yeah. It's so hard to see, but it a, is... A325, a I think. Yeah, that, that's yeah, fine. I've got yeah, it, A2, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so right. that's a thread check in the thread. Yeah. What's the next check you And do? your next check is your plug gauges, and that's checking the Dow. The Dow, yeah. So that's, again, that's a no-go, green for go. Yeah. Red, no-go, no we go. don't want that to go in, Yeah. it don't go in, so that's that Good. check. And that matches so far the control plan. Yeah. Yeah. That's them, and then the actual Dow gauges themselves. So you want to be in between these parameters. Which is perfect in the middle. middle. Yeah. 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 And that's, that's called a Dow gauge. And that's is called it? a Dow gauge, yeah. I wonder what that meant. I saw it on the control plan, but I was not sure what that was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That just measures your your angle. Yeah. And what's the frequency that you do the checking? The the checking the checking for these parts has got to be at least fifty percent. And I check them at fifty percent, one off that side and one off that side, otherwise you're gonna be all there. Right. Well yeah, fifty okay. percent. And before you put them on right, you do visually check everyone under our light, just making sure there's no no damage. It looks smooth. 
and it's good to go. Okay. And then what happens to the machine parts? Where do you store those? At right here. Okay. So from, from here, after we've finished our batch, they go on to that truck there and then they go down to the other robot that's doing the big deburr wrap right, right down at the bottom. Which the I'm going to follow next. Yeah. But no, thank you very much for that explanation. Yeah. That was good. Right, yeah. In this audit, the auditor is auditing the process of machining in a robot cell. The auditor asks the auditee to explain what part is running. The auditee explains they have a Kanban system for production scheduling and he gives details of the automotive product currently being manufactured. This partly relates to IETF requirement 8.5.1.7 production scheduling. This requirement states the organization shall ensure that production is scheduled in order to meet customer orders or demands such as just in time and is supported by an information system that permits access to production information at key stages of the process and is order driven. The organization shall include relevant planning information during production scheduling. For example, customer orders, supplier on-time delivery performance, capability shared loading, which it could include multi-part stations, lead time, infantry level, preventive maintenance, and calibration. This requirement does not specifically mention Kanban which is defined as an agile management method built on the of continuous improvement where work items are pulled from the product backlog into a steady flow of work. The framework is applied using Kanban boards, a form of visual project management. Whereas this method could be acceptable as a methodology for production planning, the effectiveness should be verified by reviewing delivery performance information, both against the internal production schedule, but also any customer requirements. The order T then explains how the parts are loaded onto the conveyor, including checking that part selected had the same HCT number to assist with product traceability. Four parts are loaded in a particular orientation and spacing ready for machining. This would be a good opportunity to verify the work instruction for the process. The auditor using the control plan then ask the order T to demonstrate the product checks that are undertaken on the machined product. The order tour then observes the order T measuring the product using variable and attribute gauging. When asked on the inspection frequency, the order T stated 50% of the parts are checked using the gauging and all parts are checked visually. This should be verified against the control plan and based upon the machine feed and tap time, verify is it possible to achieve this given the production throughput. So let's summarize. Where it is seen that systems like Kanban are used, the effectiveness should be verified by reviewing key performance indicators, for example, delivery performance. When auditing in production, reference should always be made to the control plan and sample taken to review the linkages back to the risks that are identified in the PFMEA.